God is still on his throne. Prayer changes everything and praise can move mountains. Lord, let us be humble every day that we become vessels of your honor. No matter what it is, if it's something that dominates your time and your money, you need to take a hard, long look at whatever that may be because that is taking the place of God in your life. They say one of the easiest ways to tell what the idols are in your life is take a hard look at what you're spending your money on. Between money and time, there you go. Just take a look at it. If it's 99% something else and 1% God, you've got your work cut out for you. We run to the throne of grace for mercy from on high. We come for a variety of reasons from healing of body, life, and soul to deliverance from whatever. But so many leave once they get the temporal thing that they are after. They have no intent to seek the vast Christ giftings provided us in the spirit. To be remade into God's will for our lives is an immense gift from God to his obedient ones. But so many are content with their lives just the way that they are. Or perhaps they don't see how things could possibly change. They don't see how they could be born again. Rebirth is not just a single prayer. It's a gradual transformation into God's will for your individual life. We follow the way up the path to righteousness. It can change if only one allows the Lord to work using the Holy Spirit in their lives. So many things can be rooted out like addiction, bad temperament, fear, insecurity, selfishness, and so on. The list is endless. The Lord has provided a plan to salvage that which was damaged and lost so that we can experience the lives that God intended for us. God bless you all.